YouTube, what's going on? It's professional Madden player T. Davis. In today's video, we're breaking down the Indianapolis Colts playbook. We're going over five money plays in the playbook. The best money plays I think you need to improve if you run this playbook, or you can take some of these plays and add them to your own playbook. Um, we're breaking down all 32 NFL teams here on the channel, so it's been fun. It's been it's been uh, highly successful. A lot of you guys have really enjoyed it. So if you want to see more of these playbook breakdowns as well as eBooks, tips, gameplays. Make sure to subscribe here to the channel on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps me out in the algorithm. Comment down below, too, your thoughts if you like this playbook. Tell me your favorite playbook plays in the playbook, or tell me what other playbooks you want to see me break down. But um, that's it for the intro, guys. Make sure to check out all my social medias down below in the links in the description. I also have coaching sessions available, 30-minute and 60-minute sessions, as well as a defensive ebook that's been very successful as well. So check that out if you want to improve. Uh, but that's it, guys. Let's get into today's video. The Indianapolis Colts, five money plays that you need in order to be successful on offense. YouTube, what's going on? Your boy T. Davis back today. And today we're going over five money plays from the Indianapolis Colts playbook. Uh, I like this playbook a lot. You know, it's very pass heavy. So I do want to keep it kind of balanced here. Go over a couple runs and then get into the pass plays. First play we're going to look at is single back wing tight in the 2-6 duo. And as you guys probably know from the latest patch that came out a few weeks ago, you know, they really toned down stretch as probably the best run in the game. So some runs I'm really looking forward to running now and that I have been running is things like Power O, these 2-6 duos, more dives, more kind of unique runs besides the stretch. And I really love this 2-6 duo. So let's get into that first. And what you're going to see with this one out of the wing type formation is it's very versatile because we can flick it left or we can run it right. Um, I kind of just like to look for the numbers here. As you can see, we kind of have the numbers to the right side. But the thing with this 2 6 duo is it doesn't have any pulling blockers. So you're going to usually have a hat on a hat, straight ahead blocking, and you're usually going to turn this into a big play. And it's, and it's always pretty much positive yards. You're not going to lose a lot on these plays. So as you can see, we kind of just hand it off, get a, a two yards there. But you really do want to look for what side you have the numbers on. Uh, right here, it looks like, I, and the, the, the thing about this too is you can take it up the middle, you can take it outside, you can kind of take it anywhere you want. So I do see a little gap up the middle there, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to take it up the middle there. As you see, we kind of ran to our line, but we got a couple yards. So let's see if we can kind of break one off here. Looks like they're bringing the safety double blitz, so this looks like a pretty tough <laughs> situation here. Let's try, and you can, another thing is too, you can uh, utilize this motion here, then you can run it to that strong side. You can also bring it back, kind of wait for them to follow and then go the weak side so what I'd like to do in this situation is so I see that he's following I'm gonna flick it to the right motion him left so now I have him following over there I should have a little more space to the right side and so that's kind of the things you want to do with it you can utilize this motion you can also motion the receiver over to create a real strong side look but a lot of times it's just a quick handoff and that's what I like about it there's no pulling blocker so a lot of times they're not gonna be able to shoot free and get in so you're going to have that straight ahead blocking. You can take it to the outside here, as you can see, and we get a big 15-yard run out of it. So really a versatile run, very effective, and you can find this 2-6 duo in a lot of different formations within your playbook, so make sure you guys are definitely mixing this in. One more run I want to break down is the 0-1 trap out of the single back deuce close, and I believe it's only in this, in Kansas City Chiefs playbook, that they have a 0-1 trap out of deuce close. And the reason that's so good is because deuce close is such a good formation. You know, I've broken this down a few times on my channel. It's one of the best passing formations, really balanced, but... It doesn't have a lot of good runs. It has the stretch, which we just talked about, has been toned down. Then it has like the wham in a lot of the formations, which has which has an auto motion. So it doesn't. It never has a hatback dive or kind of just a straight handoff. So this 0-1 trap is really effective, as you guys know in Madden 21. 0-1 trap, especially out of shotgun, just super super good. So taking a look at this, you know, it's just kind of a quick handoff. You're gonna see a pulling blocker. You're usually gonna get a big play, nice little gap up the middle that we can follow because of those pulling blockers. Um, and we just kind of take advantage of it. You know, you see that the guard will kind of come over, pick up the guy that comes free, and then we can get into that second level. And usually we have like a one-on-one -on -one up into that second level where the linebackers are. A lot of times you have a big play like this. You follow your blocks, and look at that. We can take it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. So this play can definitely turn into a big play. We'll run it one more time here for fun. But I really think you guys should find those 0-1 traps in your playbook, no matter what formations they're in, because they're some of the best runs in Madden 21. All right, next play I want to look at is PA Eagle Seam out of gun tight slots. And we don't have a lot of breakdowns here of the gun tight slots, but I do think it's a great formation, especially a formation you can mix in because it does have some good plays. And if you have, uh, when you have this, uh, I'll play like quick base out of the tight slots, you don't see that a lot. So it's a great run with great blocking because everyone's compressed. Then you got some plays like PA Eagle Seam, PA Clown Shot, Bench Swap, which is really good. Things like Drive Trail as well as Mesh. If you have some route chems at receiver, those make those plays even better. So. 
I really do like this formation a lot, especially as a mix-in. Um, I've always been a big fan of gun tight, gun tight flex, all those formations. And a lot of times in most playbooks, there is some sort of compressed tight formation. So you, these concepts can work in any of your playbooks. So let's go ahead and look at PA Eagle seam here. Could run this versus any coverage now. The money route is obviously the crossing route from T.Y. Hilton. That's going to uh, get by zones on the sideline. It's going to beat man if you have good speed and good route running. So that's the first thing we're looking for. But the second setup I like is to slant the tight end and put Y or triangle on it on PlayStation on the left side on a flat route. So you're going to have a high low right there. If there's, a, if there's cloud flats, we we'll be able to hit the flats. If they play hard flats on down, we can hit the slant. A lot of times with a low ball. And then if they do go to the slant, we have the crossing route coming to the other side. So it's a really effective money play let's take a look at it here as you can see oh we had the tight end wide open i couldn't get the pass off it's one thing about these sheds in practice mode as you guys probably know they're just insane let's try it again here and as you can see we got the slant wide. oh terrible pass by rivers but we still get it off so he's going to usually get under the safeties and behind the linebackers on that slant to be able to kind of pick up a nice play as you can see here we have that slant beaten beaten man to man obviously jack doyle is not fast at all so he's going to be having a hard time to beat man to man but you saw the few steps on him there once again right there wide open behind the defender over there on the sidelines so that's how we hit the slant i'm seeing if they run a little zone here and we'll be able to hit this crossing route but it looks like we have man again but you have the crossing route does beat man ty hilton doesn't have that 85 threshold route running that we look for um so you do want that route running threshold and that speed uh, to get open but jack doyle on the slant there as well for another big play so it's really a two two read thing it's the slant coming right away or we're waiting for our crossing route to get to the sidelines for a big play so as you can see there this the zone kind of played it good right there but usually he gets behind the zone or he gets underneath the deep zones we'll go ahead and do it one more time here looks like we have man to man we got the slant those slants absolute money versus man to man as you guys know so nice little money play here out of the tight slots then you can also like i said mix in that halfback quick base as an audible down, it's going to have great blocking on this. And then you also have things like bench swap, which are just super effective as a good quick play and a good flood concept. Next play I want to look at in the Indianapolis Colts playbook is the play dagger. And this play has been good for the last few years. We can run this first. Pretty much any coverage in the game, you can come out. I like to run this play just stock. It has great spacing on the field. When you come out and run it stock, we can check down to our drag right away underneath for a couple yards. That's always one of the first reads. Then behind that, if they do bite down on that, we have the crossing route going to the sidelines as well as the backside dig route. Oh, we don't get any time in practice mode, but you see the great spacing with the crosser and the backside dig. That's really going to force your user to make a decision because if they watch the crosser, we're going to kind of wait for that dig or the drag underneath it. And if they don't, we're going to be able to hit these other routes. So as you can see, that dig route, absolute money versus man-to-man. -man. T.Y. Hilton, not the best player in the game, but he does torch that man-to-man -man right here we just checked down to our drag easy easy for 10 yards so really three levels on this play as far as the drag the crosser and the backside dig so you're just kind of being patient making a read when you do see man-to-man -man like this a lot of times you can hit that oh, you can hit that crosser you want your definitely your best route runner at the b position there uh where we have Pittman, so you can get a quick burst to the sideline especially if it is man-to-man -man. um and then you can be able to kind of just launch that for a, a, neat, a big play touchdown if you have that elite route running and elite speed. So that's kind of the, the whole how the play works. But it's really looking for the drag immediately, then the crosser. And then if the crosser is bagged on the sidelines, we're going to wait and throw that backside dig route. Now one other setup you can do that I like to break down is a motion slant with the tight end on a streak. So you want to streak the tight end motion Y over on a slant. And it's going to really force the user again. We're going to have either the slant the crosser or the backside dig as you can see here it looks like man to man so we're going to have that crosser get or that slant get into the sidelines versus man and that's zach pascal who's not a good route runner doesn't have a lot of speed so he's still able to win we'll go ahead and do it one more time here but uh we're looking slant crosser backside dig is, is our kind of our reads so as you can see here we're going to have that crosser michael Pittman, to the sidelines for a big play so those are the two setups for this play. This play is money. I definitely recommend mixing it in because it is in a lot of formations like tri uh, Trey Y flex, trips tight end flex. So if you have this in your playbook, definitely start to utilize it here in Madden 21. All right, final play here of the Colts playbook that I want to break down is Y shallow cross. And the money route here is that running back little in route there. You see we're going to have good spacing. We're going to have a backside dig. We're going to have a motion post that we can get over the top of the coverages. We're also going to have a drag and a wheel. The wheel is kind of there to just bring out any zones to allow the running back to get open. 
But you don't even have to make any adjustments. You can kind of just come out, hike the ball, light, wait for that auto motion. If we do have man-to-man, -man, then we're going to wait for our running back. That route torches man-to-man. -man. It's usually a linebacker manned up on him. So that route is going to win versus man as well as zone. So pretty simple concept here. We'll go ahead and hike it one more time. See what we have. It looks like we're going to have our drag wide open. So we do have kind of a mesh concept uh, with the drag and the running back that creates a lot of spacing and, and, and really kind of uh, confuses the defense because you get guys running into each other. So hope you guys enjoyed these five money plays out of the Indianapolis Colts playbook. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel here for the best pro player tips, game plays, ebooks, and much more. I appreciate all you guys' support, man. We're almost halfway through the 32-team playbook. So um, until next time, your boy T. Davis is out.